Welcome back to Ultrasound. Next stop on our three-day road stint with Janet Jackson is here in Newcastle in northeastern England. In fact, it's the first time Janet has played in this part of Britain. This is the 12th country Janet's been to in six weeks. Logging all those kilometers across Europe has meant tons of hours on the road, but at least she's done it in the comfort of a double-decker bus. One, two, three, These are totally different from the buses at home. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they're making a bus for me now. So it's like from the ground up and where I want the bed really? and the colors. Yeah. Wow. So I'm going to put the bed in front this time. Last time I had the bed in back. But well, this, this is not bad, right? It's, it's, it's tight. It's yeah. just tight. Our buses at home are wider, but I think this is because of all the narrow streets mm -hmm. in, in Europe. Let's go upstairs. We were watching South Park <laughs> back here. It's difficult for me to sleep on the bus. Yeah. So I, I don't get very much rest. That's why they like for me to drive as much as I possibly can to get rid <laughs> to, to drive the bus? No, to, no, 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 <laughs> to drive in a car, I'm sorry. <laughs> to take the car <laughs> as opposed to the bus. <laughs> there's some long drives, right? Yeah, there's some 10, 12 Jeez. hours, 14. There have been 20 hour drives, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's okay, I mean, and then you can perform the next day with no problem? I mean, even, I would. It's hard, it's yeah. very hard. You get in at noon or, or one o'clock, and it's 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 tough. You wait, you you know, you get off the bus, shower, go work out, and get ready for the show. in three days in three different cities that must be kind of rough tough yeah. it is <laughs> very tiring <laughs> i would imagine you establish some kind of routine so that you do stay at least as energetic as possible can you talk a little about Lots what of herbs <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes lisa giannini the massage therapist is always handing out herbs to all of us making sure our health is okay and i'm sure she uses some kind of I read this recently that some kind of sticks on your ankle. Is this true? Oh, uh, you're talking about a moxa stick? Right. Yeah, well, <laughs> she used it on the on the Rhythm Nation tour, on the Janet tour, and it's to help to give you energy. But the, the, the bad thing about it, it, it just smells like marijuana. So all backstage is smelling like pot. Or you walk past my room, it smells like pot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's but it funny. works. Yeah, it yeah. definitely works. All of that works. Once again, Janet's assembled her familiar touring team, including musical director Rex Salas, and of course her good friend, confidant, and longtime choreographer, Tina Landon. Okay, from the top, you guys. You guys were on the last tour, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And how does this compare so far? Hard dance-wise. Uh, yeah, it's harder this time, definitely. Mm -hmm. it's, longer. it's a longer show, and we do a lot more dance numbers. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot less breaks in between the dance numbers. This would be cool if this was, these are two different colors right here. Like if you wanted to have this orange and that red. No, I didn't mean to do that, but that is kind of cool. Because it, it could still be a piece. Tired ass drawings. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what That's why we don't. This, show is this, for? this is the whimsical, but I, I'm oh. changing my outfit for the states because it's. Uh, All of them? No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Just mine. Uh, it's a little hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my hat is very heavy. What is yours like? <laughs> this is me trying to draw. Oh. <laughs> See, so I was trying to figure. Uh, I hate showing you guys. This is so bad. No, it's cool. But something like this. It's more the feeling, so it's kind of a cross between what I did last time. I and forgot to put in your cleavage. The infamous cleavage you got. God. We got you in trouble. Was it Hartford, Connecticut? Yeah. yeah. Those people don't have I any idea. Sure. Do. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> cleavage? Come on. The other more, the more important things happening in the world. Would you say up until this point, six weeks on, there's been a favorite night or city or crowd or? <laughs> Yes. Bye. <laughs> you want to know what yeah. it is? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Um, I think uh, there's a request that we have here tonight. Rob actually proposed to Tina, and she had no idea. 
Will you marry me? It took her for, oh my God, it seemed like forever for her to say yes. Yes. We were like little kids on the stage. We were high-fiving and jumping up and down, and we were so excited. Despite her friend's engagement, Janet's own take on marriage appears to be more reluctant. When Janet was only 18, she eloped with and subsequently annulled her marriage to musician James DeBarge. Now, although she has maintained one of the more long-lasting relationships in the music industry with director Renee Elizondo, Janet seems happy leaving well enough alone. I'm not opposed to doing it again. I'm just very happy the way things are, and I'm just afraid of any little negative energy. Because of it not necessarily working out the first time? No, because I think in this business, people are often saying, oh, I wonder, I give it this many years, I wonder how long it's going to last. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not going to work. So I've had a relationship, considering everything that goes on around you for 10, what is it, 12 years or yeah, something? 12 yeah, 12 years. That's pretty commendable, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, something I think to be so proud too. of. Yeah. yeah, very. And and um, so I don't think there's any need to change it, at least not anytime soon. He started by kissing my hand. Then he started licking my hand and then licking my arm. And then he started licking my stomach and he looked in my eyes and he said, mmm. 